Model Gigi Hadid announced that she will be donating all of her earnings during Fashion Month to victims in both Ukraine and to Palestinians. Now, the reporting on this is the news itself because it turns out that Vogue wanted to censor a certain part of what Gigi Hadid was trying to do here. Now, um, Hadid, who is the daughter of a Palestinian uh, real estate developer, posted this on Instagram. Let me read it to you and pay close attention to what she says. I'm pledging to donate my earnings from the fall 2022 show to aid those suffering from the war in Ukraine, as well as continuing to support those experiencing the same in Palestine. Our eyes and hearts must be open to all human injustice. May we all see each other as brothers and sisters beyond politics, beyond race, beyond religion. At the end of the day, innocent lives pay for war, not leaders. Hands off Ukraine, hands off Palestine, peace, peace, peace. Okay, great. And she's doing something, you know, it's not just putting something up on social media, she's contributing to people. She's doing this donation, it's wonderful. Vogue wanted to do a little bit of coverage of it. And their original Instagram post about what Gigi Hadid is doing with these donations included her intentions to donate to both Palestinians and to Ukrainians. But they were criticized immediately for doing that, okay? So just to give you a sense for of- For posting. Her full post, that's all they did. Just for posting post Gigi post. Hadid's post, yeah, mm -hmm. just exactly. Well, uh, I wanna give you an example of some of the criticism they got for this. Uh, the post was bombarded with comments from luminaries like Entourage's Emmanuel Trichy, uh, uh, who accused Vogue of fanning the flames of anti-Semitism. Okay, I just read you verbatim what Gigi Hadid's post said, verbatim. It acknowledges suffering. It acknowledged the which suffering, is which is, yeah. I mean, there was not. By the way, there wasn't even any criticism of the Israeli government in that post. All she did was say, yeah. "I am donating my earnings from Fashion Month to Ukrainians and Palestinians." Yeah. By the way, if she wants to criticize the government of Israel, she can do that too. And if you're going to cover her thing, you should include that too. Yeah. It's not like here is her 12 step plan for taking down the Zionist. Like it was just, there is nobody can dispute that they're suffering. You can say, well, they asked for it or something. You can be insane, you can be a monster. You can't dispute that people are suffering. Um, and so look, it's, we see this all the time, particularly targeted celebrities. Emma Watson recently was attacked as an anti-Semite because she acknowledged what was going on there. Um, there, there is obviously a changing tide where people are starting to acknowledge that that it's not sustainable what's happening there. Uh, some celebrities are helping to shift people in that direction, and thus people who do not have a problem with go, what's going on right now uh, in Palestine desperately want to get us back to the old status quo. They want celebrities to be terrified yeah. of commenting on this sort of thing. It's a, exactly, it's a way of shutting down any discussion, any debate about what's really taking place. And and that's why I have a problem. First of all, it, it completely minimizes real anti-Semitism, which is definitely still taking place all over the world. And yes, even here in the United States. To immediately say this is anti-Semitism, again, it causes people to just assume that other claims of anti-Semitism that are credible, that are real, aren't real. And I hate that, right? I also hate this, the way that this is a, an attempt to prevent people from having discussions or share thoughts or engage in debates that need to be had, mm -hmm. okay? And this type of standard doesn't apply to any other conflict anywhere else in the world. So uh, let's go on to what Vogue did after the backlash because did they uh, remain defiant? Did they keep the post up? No, they actually ended up censoring it. A day after the backlash, uh, Vogue decided to scrap the mention of Palestinians altogether. And this is what they changed the caption to, let's take a look. Today, Gigi Hadid announced that she will be donating all of her fashion month earnings toward relief efforts in Ukraine. Originally, this continued uh, as well as continuing to support those experiencing the same in Palestine. 
Okay, so the supermodel is following in the footsteps of her colleague and friend and is using her platform as one of fashion's leading faces to support victims of Russia's invasion in Ukraine. And she is not alone, okay? So as you can see, they, they scrapped any mention of Palestine there. Mm -hmm. And it's just, first of all, so cowardly, so weak, so pathetic. Uh, they have not released a statement on exactly why the caption was changed. I wonder. Uh, I wonder. Um, and originally, they were simply just quoting Gigi Hadid herself. Um, now, beyond Instagram, the actual Vogue story also edited uh, to remove one of the two original instances of Palestine being mentioned, specifically a quote of the final line of Hadid's post reading, hands off Ukraine, hands off Palestine, peace, peace, peace. And it's calling for peace, especially three times, needlessly radical, needs to be censored. Yeah, so if they had, the best thing that they could have done is they, they could have responded that simply acknowledging human suffering is not unacceptable. It's certainly not anti-Semitism and they are gonna stand by their original post. They could have done that. They could have taken down the entire thing, which would have been cowardly, but they actually found something worse than that because by keeping up something like the post, it shows that their only interest in this is clout chasing off of Gigi Hadid. That's what mm -hmm. they want. They still want to have something about her. So good. But what do you yeah. what do you think, Vogue? You think she's gonna like I don't know. I have no idea. I don't speak for her. Maybe she'll comment on it. You think she's gonna like your approach to this? You think she's going to look favorably on Vogue? As a result of the way that you've handled this, it is not only cowardly, it's exploitative at the same time. It's exploitation on a person who's trying to point out exploitation. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? How could they do this? And Vogue in the past, by the way, or at the very least, Teen Vogue, in the past five years or so has done some good political reporting, some progressive stuff. So to see them on this particular issue running scared from criticism is just sad and needless in 2022. Also, I mean, did they think people wouldn't notice? Like, I are you guys really that dumb? Like, of course people are gonna notice that you're like taking something very specific out of her messaging. But I love the point that you made, John, about how, yeah, they wanna profit off of her, her fame, they wanna, mm -hmm you know, take advantage of that, but they don't necessarily want to support what she's doing. They couldn't care less, mm -hmm. right? This was just a way of piggybacking off of her celebrity for their own means. And once they got a little bit of pushback, it's like, wait, this is this is not what we expect. This is not what we want. Mm -hmm. We don't want to get political about this. We just want to take advantage of her fame and not deal with any backlash. So let's just censor her and change her messaging to something that's more suitable for people who apparently get triggered at any mention of the brutal treatment of Palestinians. Yeah, I don't know that she'll say anything. It'll be fascinating if she does yeah. give her perspective on what happened. And she remains undeterred. Look, she and her sister have spoken out against you know, the Israeli government's treatment of Palestinians before. There was actually a full page ad taken out against them, essentially calling them anti-Semites, calling for the condemnation of the sisters as a result of their activism around this issue. And this is what it looked like, it's graphic five. And it just gives you a sense of how aggressive the effort is to shut down any type of discussion about this particular issue. This is real censorship. This is real intimidation and it's wrong. Regardless of where you stand on this issue, preventing anyone from speaking out about the treatment of Palestinians is censorship, it is wrong and it goes against what we're supposed to support in this country, which is freedom of expression, freedom of speech. I love that that ad. Hamas calls for a second Holocaust. Condemn them now. Yeah, you know, I, I don't buy albums or whatever, but uh, Dua Lipa did perform once on SNL, and I noticed she did not condemn Hamas in that song that she sang on the show. This is this is insanity. Yeah. Demanding that a singer, she should really make much more of her creative output about condemning political organizations worldwide. Joseph Knight writes in in our member section, and you can become a member and write in as well by going to tyt.com/join. It's like there's an anti-Semitism switch that gets triggered anytime you even mention Palestinians. Mm -hmm. Look, it's true. I don't think that's going to stop. I think that those ridiculous, unfounded accusations will continue. But what I am noticing a change in how people have been defiant and have mm -hmm. continued with their, you know, I think 
well evidenced like yeah. critique of the Israeli government. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not about Jewish people. This is about a government that continues to be brutal toward people, continues to occupy people, continues to keep people in an open air prison. Uh, I mean, it's undeniable. The evidence is there. Mm -hmm. You can't just pretend like it doesn't exist and hope it goes away. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.